Hello and welcome to Musto Investing Cambodian. In this video today, I'll be sharing to you why you should just invest $1,000 and leave your country to come in Cambodia, the reasons why you should move to Cambodia. Feel free to contact us on our Facebook Meta page or Instagram page or contact us if you have any questions about Cambodia and check out our website in the link below but before we start don't forget to like the video share it to your friends subscribe to most to invest in cambodia hit the notification button and let's get started and yes as you know cambodia is one of the best and one of the most affordable countries available out there and yes actually the situation in the united states in europe is quite difficult right now because prices are so high food is so expensive things taxes doesn't make it favorable for you to live in the US or in Europe. And people that don't have much money and want to have a good life with the cost of living being low, great food, great weather, people are thinking to come to Cambodia. And I think Cambodia is the best destination in Asia right now because Cambodia is cheap, the people are very friendly, and you don't need to pay like in Los Angeles, in California, over $3,000 for an apartment. You can just pay from $100 to $400, $500. Actually, over $500, you can get something really luxurious and very nice. And compared to what you can get in the United States or in Europe, it really doesn't make any sense for you to stay in Europe and or stay in US or in Canada because you can live very well in Cambodia you can just get a one-year visa you arrive with a one-month ordinary visa and then you can extend it for one year you pay around 300 350 400 dollars and then you can stay for one year so if you have some income from abroad let's say one thousand dollars one thousand dollars is enough for everything of course, if you make $1,500, $2,000, $3,000, you can really live well here in Cambodia. But $1,000 is just enough for you to have a decent life here in Cambodia, especially in Phnom Penh City. In the province, is cheaper. And taxes are very low. If you work in a school, you just pay 5 to 10% tax every month from your salary. So living in Cambodia makes sense. It's cheap. The, the food is great. There are restaurants from all over the world. You can get Japanese, Korean, Pakistani, Indian, African, all kinds of food you can get here in Phnom Penh City. I think if you're a digital nomad, it's very cheap to live here in Cambodia. You can survive for $1,000 a month. And yes, if you want to get a job, of course, salaries here are anything from 800, 1000 to 1500, 2000 dollars. It depends on your qualifications. If you're qualified, if you're skilled, you can get more money. Less skill will make you earn less money. But usually, I think coming to Cambodia is great because even if you're someone from the Indian subcontinent, Bangladesh, you can have a very decent life. There are Indian restaurants everywhere, there is halal food. And there is a big community of Indians, Bangladeshis, Pakistani, Western people, African people. So Phnom Penh city is actually an international city and the local Cambodian people are very friendly. As long as you don't bother them, you don't disrespect them, you don't show offensive language, then they are very nice with you. They are very helpful, they smile, they are happy people. Just don't make them angry, don't show your anger, don't make fights, just respect them because in Asia, keeping face is very important. And if you're someone that makes over $1,000 a month in US or in Europe, I don't see the reason why you wouldn't come here. You can stay in Cambodia as long as you want, if you just follow the rules, live your life and get a valid visa, you can stay in Cambodia as long as you want. I think Cambodia is a great country and I would highly recommend you to move to Cambodia. The air ticket from Europe to come to Cambodia is something from $600 to $1,000, while from North America 
from the US, from Canada, it's around $1,000 to come to Cambodia. And I think Cambodia is great. You can go to Kampot, you can go to Sianukwil, to the Korong Islands to relax. It's just a couple of hours, just three or four hours drive, or you can get a bus. The new highway from Phnom Penh to Sianukwil will take you just two and a half hours. You can go to Siem Reap, you can take a flight for around $50. It's gonna take around five hours by bus, by car, and you can enjoy Siem Reap. You can go to Mondulkiri, just around six hours from Phnom Penh. So, yes, you're very near Thailand, you're very near Vietnam. I think Cambodia is great, and as a digital nomad with little or no taxes and a lengthy stay, I think you should consider Cambodia as your next destination rather than having an average life in Europe, in, in Canada, United States, Australia, you can have a good life for around $1,000 in Cambodia. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.